At last we can preview the new furnishings for Blackwood. Hello, it's Icy. Yes, that's correct. The public test server has been updated. And now that is been, uh, the interface is fixed up so that we can easily see what the new items are. So previously the items were not actually listed uh, in the PTS uh, or available for purchase, but now they are. So I am here in the fantastic Panther, Fem Panther Fang Chapel. So we can have a look at the new items. So let's take a look. Uh, so to start with, um, the flower boxes. Now, if you've seen the previous video about the furnishings, you'll know that these two flower boxes are available from the gold vendor as well for 4,000 and 4,500 each. So these are not crown only or and also do not need to be constructed like do not need to be crafted uh the leo and potted plant this will be a crafted one so you will actually need to craft this i'm liking more and more that they have plants inside pots because it means it's one item count not two for your houses so let's have a look where the next ones are the leowen merchant stall portable i personally think this is fantastic uh i love this i want this one i have i have plans for this particular one and i have a house that is waiting to find this particular one so i'm looking forward to getting this one eventually then we have the ox cart sturdy a rather nice little cart i mean in a natural position position at an angle but put it that way and stick some beasties in front of it and you're good to go and the leowen wagon covered which is beautiful it's beautiful i also think that will be a really interesting furnishing item uh, that rounded roof very easy to put it on its side stick it into a wall get a really nice possibly pillar design something I think that one could be very flexible so under the for some reason this is showing up under wells courtyard yes wells no um, as from the previous video the palisade will be available for gold from the standard in-game house vendor as well and the leowen well covered uh, which is adorable and has a very unique roof line that is very possibly could be used for other sorts of things. Uh, so it is a purple crafting recipe, but still it's gorgeous. Okay, let us take a look in dining. Now we have more curved venture benches, very similar to the Lalu and Redoran style, but this in a warmer wood and a, maybe a little finer, uh, but they are just beautiful. So we have a long and a short bench. Uh, and then we have a formal wide bench, so an uncushioned at a blue quality, and uh, the green quality benches. But I have to say, the green quality items from Leowin are really good. I like these so much. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Uh, so chairs, blue quality, no cushion, uh, purple quality, very fancy, almost throne-like even, and green quality chairs back to, well, actually, to be honest, an extremely elegant piece of furniture for a green level. Uh, so it should be relatively easy to craft, not require very many materials. Pretty sure all of these furnishings are going to require uh, a new uh, crafting material to make, and you'll be able to get those from farming uh, the world bosses, basically doing the dailies in Blackwood. So uh, also a nice little money maker there just to get the crafting material and sell it. So uh, the Leowen counter corner at a blue level, quite nice. Uh, the counter long, I like the overhang and it's also a very fine style wood. Um, it's really very pretty. And the Leo Encounter Wide Merchant. 
<laughs> I'm having trouble reading the text tonight. Uh, which is really interesting. I like it. I like it. Would also make a great counter or sit partly into the wall as well. Uh, the colour is lovely. That lighter colour is gorgeous. So onto tables. The formal round uh, with the elegant leg structure. Uh, the formal, straight up formal. The uh, formal grand. The formal square low. Uh, the sturdy grand, so this is the green quality, uh, which is a perfectly decent large table. Uh, would also make a good bridge, actually, I think. I think you could turn that into a very handy bridge. The round sturdy, uh, which is actually very elegant. I'm looking forward to using these. Uh, the sturdy square. So back to the slightly rougher wood. But this one, this one's gorgeous. And, um, and that circle shape... I think you could do some interesting things with that. Uh, we have a bunch of new paintings. So, uh, a whole series of lovely paintings, but these with the silver frame have an interesting, possibly practical back on them that you might be able to use for other sorts of things. Uh, the other ones just have either a roped back uh, or sort of fixing points on the back so it depends on what we've got here now this castle this is the one you can buy this is i think probably a view of panthafang castle or maybe one of the other castles but it's a great one actually perhaps that's Pan panthafang castle because it has the chapel in the back so you can have a castle painting of your castle uh these are all lovely i think this is my favorite definitely uh, but there's some really nice ones in interesting shapes as well. And this one is also a favourite as well. The colours are lovely. So, on to hearth. We have washing baskets, hampers, full, tall and wide, as well as a much smaller little basket. Uh, under cabinetry we have Leo and Cabinet Formal. These are stunning. They're really so very elegant, but the sturdy style once again comes through looking really, really clean and magnificent. Uh, so the formal cupboard, uh, the formal display cupboard, well, I mean nominally you should probably have the display stuff at the other end, at the top, unless that's meant to be, maybe it's a wall mounted one, possibly and the sturdy wall-mounted cupboard uh, with the little support beams. Dishes! Extremely exciting! I've got to say, I'm, I'm very, very excited by these ones. So we have a um, gravy boat, plate with knife and fork, and it's gorgeous. It is, uh, has been reported perhaps on maybe Twitter, it's very large. Uh, it's, um, for example, the common plate fits in that inner ring there, but putting this on a table, uh, it actually looks proportionally correct. So even if you pick it up and put it near like your character's head or something, it looks too big. Uh, on the table, it looks great. Additionally, because that lower plate is so big, you can actually use it like as a chaser. Or a chaser is basically a decorative plate you put underneath and then you put the meal on top. Uh, so like on a separate plate. So do think about the options you've got there. Uh, we have a stack of utensils and a stack of plates. So if you've been waiting to make your restaurant in the game properly, but the item count has been hitting you, Leowen plates are waiting to solve your problem. Now, drinkware. Extremely important. I'm just going to jump to the real one. Teacup. There is a teacup in this game now and I am so happy. <laughs> really extremely happy that there is a teacup. I plan to be making oh a tea room. Okay I have to make a tea room now. Anyway there's also a milk jug. Uh, though without a spout, oddly, and a 
uh, Kylix, which is a ceremonial drinking vessel. So I'm not sure of the pronunciation, but I do know what it is. Uh, also, there are additional laundry options, which is interesting. So we have our pulley clothesline, uh, a stack of laundry, socks and trousers, uh, which are also the socks and trousers are available for gold as well. So and then we have a new arrangement of meals, all with knives and forks. Uh, so we have a lobster bisque or lobster lobster stew. Uh, a meal of clams with heritage tomatoes, uh, a meal of lobster, a meal of octopus, a meal of squid, but the squid appear to be uncooked because pretty sure that's not how you eat squid. I could be mistaken, that doesn't look great. A meal of vegetables, the vegetable plate looks fantastic, though... I mean, I don't know what the flat thing is, <laughs> or what it's meant to be. Uh, an octopus pie, a Leowin seafood platter, uh, which looks quite great, uh, and a stew serving pot as well. So a lot of lovely, lovely options there if you're planning to make restaurants and things. Uh, in the pottery section, we have an amphora elegant, which is beautiful. Uh, a cracked pitcher, interesting design, I really like it. Uh, the elegant pitcher, which is the one I would definitely have in my actual house. A domed pot, a pot with waves, which is um, the same style as one of the um, elsewhere pots. Uh, a wide pot and a tall vase, which is actually fairly small. So there's a cerulean uh, elsewhere pot as well that's this shape, which would look very nice matched together if you wanted to do something along those lines. So we have triple corn cobs, grilled corn cobs. They look yum, actually. A lettuce leaf. Uh, and some vine heritage tomatoes as well. So you could set up a much better garden than you've been able to do in the past, possibly. Uh, then we move down to library. Uh, we have a desk, which is great. I love the legs. Really, really like the legs a lot. And then a great deal of shelving. So grand filled bookcase. Uh, narrow. Narrow filled. So short. Tall. Short and tall. I like the wider shelf at the top, so you can actually put some decorations on there. Uh, tall filled. Uh, wall shelf carved. This one I'm very interested to use because this is such an interesting plain shape on the back. I think this could be really helpful in a whole bunch of housing ideas. But the shelves themselves are delightful, so I'm really, I'm really looking forward to getting that particular pattern and experimenting. Uh, then on to braziers. We have the copper, uh, the Leowen iron, the short iron, uh, which is really just a little tabletop brazier, which is really nice because I have one of my favorite kind of lighting sources. Uh, tall copper serpent, so very similar in style, uh, and the Leowen shrine of the eight. So very similar to the Imperial shrine of the bay, um, but this one is yet yeah, sort of uh, a Leowen version. There is a fair chance that this particular one might be crown only because the Shrine of the Bay is as well. So chandelier is really great. Um, so a brass chandelier, a grand brass chandelier, which very much reminds me of a 1970s fire, so cemented fireplace. And I plan to use it that way as well. <laughs> And the Twin Lantern Chandelier, which is, meh, I mean, it's fine. This one is definitely not my favourite. Uh, new fireplace, a fire pit, a stone fire pit, and I want many of these. I want, I don't know, like rows, possibly. The lamps, uh, a oil lamp, a twin oil lamp and a stationary lamp, uh, which is not obvious how this is powered. 
lanterns. Uh, the Leowin stationary lantern, which is quite cute. It's quite nice. It's green quality as well, so easy enough to get hold of. The floro, floral gilded lamppost, which is simply stunning. Uh, and the carved wave lamppost, which is also extremely elegant. And I think even if you use this so the lamp is set into the wall, I think this would be fabulous. Just as using the post for some sort of construction. And additionally, two sconces. So the gilded lantern sconce. Uh, and the standard sconce as well. So lots of beautiful lighting sources. Now under we have knickknacks, we have a couple of jewellery boxes. Uh, there are quite a few rugs and carpets. So big and red, big and also red, big and beige. That's very practical in many houses. Medium, small and beige. Small and ratty. This one's available from the housing vendor for gold as well. Big and ratty. Ditto. Uh, nice and oval. And oval and worn. And this one's from the housing vendor too. Tapestries. Lots of lovely tapestries, which is great because there was such a lack in the Grey Moor chapter. So, uh, abstract banner. Very gorgeous large green one. Uh, tall and sort of a more a taupe color, which I think is great. Uh, a the, one of the so one of the fleets straight up green florals, a triptych tapestry, which is gorgeous, and a twin vessel one. And note some of these, like this one particularly, is just a blue quality, so it should be relatively easy to get hold of. Uh, structures, Leowin canopy. So this matches the canopy um, of the little trading booth. So you should be able to sort of intermix this. And I'm looking forward to getting one of those. So uh, the formal double bed, which oddly has a pillow at each end. <laughs> Just because maybe? Uh, the formal single bed. Uh, which is very cute, and then the sturdy single, and uh, in, you'll note in some houses these are actually stacked together to create bunk beds, and that works very effectively. So two dividers, the octopus, and the amazing sturdy one. Uh, but these, I love this barn door shape, and I think that will actually be really interesting to use that as an actual um, sort of construction item instead of just a divider, though it will make a nice divider as well. So we have many new mirrors, so two small hand mirrors and two wall mirrors as well. So one that's quite small but has an interesting shield design on the back uh, and one silver one which is very domed at the front but at the back is perfectly flat, relatively textureless and with a hint of shine, thinking that will be really interesting, more as a housing, like as a construction item, as opposed to a straight up mirror. Uh, nightstand to match the existing styles, and a sturdy one. So we have a detailed trunk, which is great, and this is the blue version. And then we have a two fancier uh, purple versions and I actually like the blue on the most. And then we have the formal wardrobe. So no sturdy uh, wardrobe though there is um, the storage unit further up which would work fine for a wardrobe. So uh, the incense stands just plain very nice and a smaller sensor as well. And then under the workshop we have the splintered axle. This one's also from the gold vendor, or sorry, the in-game housing vendor I should say. Uh, but no stools. So what do you like most out of the Leowin styled furnishings? There's some really fantastic ones in here. Um, I'm very much looking forward to collecting, to be honest, a lot of the sturdy styles. Uh, there are some truly lovely bits and pieces in here, uh, like for example, 
Any of the ones that I now can't find under <laughs> dining will do. These benches, they're great. They're great, which you can't see because the face is in the way. It's fine. Let me know what you like in the comments. Anything you're particularly excited for. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. It helps to share it, which is very helpful. Please do subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't. So just throw us a follow. It's free and you get to see more videos if you do. Thank you. Uh, and come follow me over on twitch.tv slash icyic where I stream the Elder Scrolls online four days a week and I would love to see you there. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you next time.